Hey there, Radiant Souls. Uh, welcome to the Heartfelt Tarot um, channel. Before I begin um, the today exploration, I just want to take a moment to express my grati deep gratitude to all of you. To my longtime subscribers, your continued support had, uh, has been the bedrock of this channel. And for those who are new, welcome to our growing family of seekers. Your presence enriches this community in ways that you guys can't imagine. So thank you so much for that. Also, uh, today we'll be diving deep into the Etheric 8 uh, Dance of Twin Flame Energy. It's a journey many of you have embarked upon, one that's filled with ups and downs and countless lessons. Through this spread, I hope that um, I can provide some clarity, reassurance and uh, guidance as you guys navigate this profound connection here. Uh, just remember that the cards are a tool, they reflect energies and the most uh, powerful insight often comes from in between. I'm just here to help shine a line on those uh, subtle uh, whispers of the heart here. Again, thank you for being here, for sharing this journey with me. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to continue growing and exploring with our wonderful con uh, community. I'm sending you all, all my love and uh, a lot of positive energy towards you guys. So let's dive into today's reading now. I'll do a five um, spread, card spread. the foundation of this relationship our start with it and that will represent the current energy or sit situation that is surrounding your two in flame relationship right now here so for my pile number one and their twin flame what's their current situation the foundation of this we have the sun the challenge i want a card for the challenge the card will point out any obstacles or challenges that uh, you my pen number one and your twin flame might be facing right now card for the challenges obstacles here the age of swords um this is going to be the um, third card for the path forward suggest the action or mindset that will help my pile number one to overcome the challenges here with uh, their twin flame. So, the path forward, a card for the path forward. Oh no, too many of them. King of Cups. Um, what is being released? It represents past energies here, patterns, blocks that are being let go. What is my pile number one and the twin flame are releasing in this relationship? What's being released? The moon and the card for the outcome. The potential or future of this connection for my pile number one and the twin flame. The outcome. Oh my god, I'm taking too many seeds. The outcome for my pile number one. Three of Wands. So, guys. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card here. Ah, so what I'm getting from this story here. In the current situation, I see here the sun. This tells me that you guys got received uh, some sort of clarity here. Um you guys maybe are feeling successful and, and very positive about this uh, relationship right now uh, that you are in with the twin flame journey here um, i feel like this there is a period uh, where everything seems to be aligning in your favor here and that uh, the universe is radiating pure uh, joyful energy upon you 
Uh, I feel like there is also for some of you a sense of childlike wonder and everything seems possible. Um, this uh, represents a Leo, the sun, it's the card of the Leo. And um, this is a fairy and radiant energy that uh, dominates uh, this card. So I feel like you guys are being infused with confidence and vitality when it, it comes to this relationship here. Or for some of you, you got some sort of clarity regarding the connection with your twin flame. Something came out uh, to the light, especially when we have the sun and the moon here as well. What's been hidden, what's been uh, kept in the dark came to the surface now. Now we have the challenge, the page of swords here. Um... You guys, I feel like you've been met with an unexpected challenge here. Um, this is all about curiosity, thirst for knowledge, and sometimes maybe some gossip. Uh, maybe you guys heard some no news, some gossip that came to illumination for some of you here. That came to the light that you were unaware of. That was kept secret for some of you. <coughs> Um, I don't know, I feel like you guys received some message or a piece of information that uh, caught you off guard here with this page of spades. Um, and this made you question things. Um, but I see you're um, having this eager to learn things um, about what's going on here. Um, maybe with this page of spades you guys... Um, been a bit uh, too hasty in your actions or words upon finding out this news uh, this is a card of gemini air and uh, communi uh, communicative essence suggests uh, here that uh, you guys uh, um, think before you act or speak here as a challenge i feel like someone been a bit uh, harsh um, been rushing into accusing the other person with something up and finding out some news here this is the challenge for you so the way you communicate uh, with the page tells me that some of you maybe have this uh, a bit immature communication with this person with your twin flame or maybe they had this uh, immature communication uh, with you here um the path forward we have the king of cups here though this tells me that um you might be um, dealing with someone that's older for you uh, from you it doesn't have to be but some of you you might be dealing with someone that's uh, having a little age gap than you um This speaks about emotional balance, uh, compassion, diplomacy for some of you. Maybe with the page of uh, swords there, uh, some of you, um, someone in this connection been lacking the diplomacy uh, when they were communicating some uh, things towards you or you towards them. Um, so in order for you to navigate the challenge, uh, you need to emulate the qualities of this king. Uh, you should approach situations with empathy, understanding and maturity here. This is the um, Scorpio's uh, more uh, card. You might be dealing with a Scorpio, you don't have to. But uh, a sense of Scorpio deep emotional waters encourage you guys to uh, harness your emotions uh, wisely here. I feel like someone, maybe it's mad, <laughs> uh, but it's, un, it's unable to harness these emotions. It's unable to put in balance their emotions. You just let the emotions get the best, uh, best out of you here. Now we have what's being released. We have the moon, uh, moon card here. I feel like shadows play tricks on the water's uh, surface here, reflecting the moon card's uh, essence of illusion, intuition and the unknown. Um, 
I feel like you guys are letting go of past uncertainties here, doubts and fears. Um, this is um, it's a card of the Pisces or uh, Cancer. I feel like you guys um, letting go of uh, being too dreamy and um, I feel like you're uh, going to follow your intuition here more. You're um, um, evolving here with the moon card here. I feel like you're becoming more attuned uh, to your inner self and you're releasing the cloudy illusions that once obscured your path here with this person. Uh, if it's not you, uh, maybe your person is releasing these uh, qualities here, these negative traits from their life. We also have the, in the outcome, the Three of Wands. This um, tells me that you're uh, overlooking at a vast expanse here. Uh, you guys will contemplate your next move. Uh, someone here is definitely contemplating their uh, next move. I don't know if it's you or your person. Um, the three of ones here tells me it's about anticipation, forethinking and uh, expansions. So you guys... Um, getting this clarity here and this uh, helps you to um, with this newfound clarity and the emotional wisdom you're, you're poised to explore new horizons and opportunities here you're no longer I feel like waiting for your ship to come in um, I think you're gonna chase for it or maybe this person will chase you with this three of wands um, this, uh, you might be dealing with an Aries uh, with this uh, three of ones and um, the very uh, ambition of the air is I feel like it's like it's pushing you guys to take the initiative to chase your dreams here um, and if your dream is to be with this person or their dream is to be with you you either will chase them or they will chase you I see here the judgment someone is being called to make to the call to start a new beginning to take a leap of faith um, the time is now this card is telling me someone here I think that your twin flame is ready for a new beginning here um, but as we have here a page um, I feel like even though there is love here in this connection um, they have these strong feelings for you this gives me that uh, vibe and with the fool as well that they might come a bit immature and that's the challenge they need to uh, move forward from um, because I don't know maybe they're scared with the moon car here that if they will um, come with everything that they feel uh, they will come as a king of uh, cups and she show you other emotions they have for you here I feel like you might uh, they might think that you're taking them for a fool so again they come as a page what I was telling you <laughs> So yeah, they come a bit uh, shy, immature a bit, uh, or um, I don't know, I see, I see this shyness they have here. But they want this new beginning, they want to take the leap of faith, they want to jump in this relationship. They know that this is the time, this is the time for them that they need to move forward with this connection. Why? Because you guys are, they're being, being really happy with you. And I think with the three of uh, ones here and the pages that we just saw, I feel like you receive a message from this person. I see messages coming towards you. Might be a text message, a call maybe for some of you, or just um, face to face. But I think expect some messages. So yeah, um... I, I see this person is uh, doing a lot of reflection. I see that this is uh, in the inner calling, calling to them for, for this rebirth. They need to transform, or both of you mm, have to work, especially when you're in a twin flame connection, you're mirroring each other, so you both have to work on this. Um, on yourself, and on if you want to have this connection with this person. Um, so yeah, I, I think, um, 
I'm seeing the reconciliation, rebirth, um, this inner calling for calling you for to take movement. Um, I feel like I, this is the anticipation of a new beginning here, especially with the three of wands. It's all coming to a full circle, I feel. Um, but you are so guys uh, or they are asked to evaluate your past and uh, you need to acknowledge your, pre uh, your present and pave a path of a renewed future together here. So you just need to work on the past mistakes and or past issues or whatever happened here. You guys need to work on them. Um, the moon card. I'm curious, why is the moon card here? Let's clarify this moon card for my pile number three. The four of um, swords. So you're releasing uh, so what I feel here. Mm. Some of you, I don't know why, uh, some of you are lying in a hammock right now when you're watching this reading. Might be a message for you, I don't know why. Uh, being surrounded by lavender smell, someone here, I don't know. Anyway, um, so this speaks about um, introspection here, meditation, rest. Um, and with the moon's illusions and mysteries, um, I feel like you guys are uh, taking this uh, a very careful approach on contemplation. Um, I feel like you guys been retreating, reflecting, uh, you're uh, rejuvenating right now. And um, Perhaps the uncertainties and the emotional turmoil associated with this fo um, from the moon, with the moon here. Uh, for some of you, I feel like this have taken a toll on uh, some of your mental state or maybe on this person's mental state here. Uh, this tells me that um, someone here needs to relax and take a break and withdraw momentarily from the hustle and bustle of this uh, urban world or from this connection you guys just need uh, to seek solace in silence here i feel for some of you um i feel like during these moments of quiet introspection you guys can truly understand that this cipher the moon's messages what they actually um that you need to trust your intuition regarding some illusions here so regarding some secret um, or hidden things there, uh, I feel like there are some things that your subconscious is trying to tell you to bring to the surface. I see a mask here, so you, uh, someone here, I feel like is not seeing at the moment behind the mask, and this is uh, what's going to be released after a period of rest, of uh, meditation, contemplation. You guys will realize why we will realize what actually um, the moon card here will, was trying to tell you. Um, I feel like you guys will, will release all of this though, um, you'll heal from all of this um, mental state, uh, turmoil, uh, I don't know if it's you or your twin flame, okay, that's in this uh, state of mind or both of you at the moment. Um, so yeah, I, I, this speaks that you'll find balance, harmony and um, um, you will... Um, your mental well-being it's uh, more important at the moment so this is to encourage you guys to find the equilibrium between your external persuades and your inner peace here you need to release the fears and uh, the um, what's called toxic um, thoughts as well the four of swords speaks about mental uh, uh, mental thoughts and um, I don't know you're like 
some of you might have this fear of unknown maybe this person has this fear of unknown and um, this is taking a toll on them but I feel like they're releasing this they are being called as I said upon judgment upon uh, rebirth or renewal um, they, they're doing their, you guys are on the process of healing right now uh, with this four of swords this also tells me that your guys not in communication you're taking a break from this person Let's clarify the three of wands here. The two of wands, so a decision is going to be made. I feel like um, your person, your twin flame, or even you, you guys have to make a decision here regarding this connection. Or um, they're trying to make a decision if they should come towards you, if they should message you, uh, if they should um, get in communication with you, how to do that. They have the fears with the moon card and they're very shy with the pages there. <sighs> but they are taking this decision of reaching out, of coming towards you. We also have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. This tells me about victory. So, yeah, they want this victory with you. Well, let's uh, see the judgment card here, though. Let's see this judgment card here. As overall energy. Mm. Knight of Cups. What I told you, they're coming in to tell you how they feel, to express their feelings, to let you know what you mean for them, why, because at the bottom of the deck we have the imprints, like, you're the one. Like, what else they can have in someone if not the empress? Uh, someone that's very uh, beautiful. Um, that's being um, having all these good qualities like uh what's called uh, yeah you're um very nurturing and very compassionate here where they can find someone like this it's really hard to find the person like you i feel for this person especially when you're in twin frame like you are them and they are you what else they can they just need to realize it. it's so hard sometimes when the people need to work on themselves and at their shadow work do the shadow work this is um, taking a while um so yeah you're just like i don't for some of you maybe you're the mother of um, their child you don't have to be um you're a person that i feel has the qualities uh, of the empress who um, you're very nurturing yeah. you're very supportive of others um, you possess this deep compassion and you're always looking to help those in need um, you're very creative um, I feel like you're bursting with uh, creativity and you're always bringing ideas or projects to fruition here um, you're very sensual and connected to nature here with the Empress um, you always appreciate beauty in all forms, a uh, form of art to nature, and you're deeply connected to the world around you, I feel here. You like probably to do nature uh, walks, gardening for some of you. Um, you're just being outdoors most of the time. This might be your sanctuary here. You don't have to. Maybe it's for someone out there anyway, but underneath that, it's the page of ones. Like, they have this strong passion towards you and with the king of uh, cups there tells me that they have strong feelings for you as well so yeah i see them coming towards you just be gentle with them this person it's healing at the moment releasing um, some things from their lives working on their issues but they won't come fully and be like the king or the knight here to express and just let it all out in one go no they're being shy they're coming with small tokens at the start but you're making them very happy here so yeah this is what i had for you, my pile number one um now let's get some extra messages for you guys just a second let's see 
for my pile number one. Extra messages. Okay, and this person might have green eyes, or you might have green eyes. Um, there is a lot of uh, romance between you and them. This person might be very romantic. They can be very compassionate, or you are with this uh, Empress uh, energy there. Um, they might have a muscular body, if it's a male, even a female, I guess. Maybe she's doing some kind of sport. Uh, sport. This person is very energetic. Uh, for some of you, this person might be tanned, likes to go through and... Uh, tan their skin or maybe they recently went or you recently went to the beach and uh, had uh, got some tan or to the uh, pool by the pool and this person is very assertive okay let's see what else what other messages we have here i need you in my life this person needs you in their life oh that's so sweet um the distance is too much for them yeah i feel like they can't bear this distance uh, they 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 are being pulled towards you to, um, with all the passion and feelings we saw here they're being pulled to come and give you a message and reach out to you um bright red or deep red uh, hair color for some of you disappointed you are disappointed into them or they're being disappointed into you with this moon card i feel something been hidden here or just the fears uh, someone here is in pain you guys might be suffering after them or they've been mis uh, been suffering from, uh, because of you um let's see Mm, some zodiacal signs here for you, my plan number one, who might, you might be dealing with a Pisces. I think I said it to the moon, Cancer or Pisces. Are there any other signs for my plan number? Okay, any other zodiacal sign for my a Scorpio? Okay, I think I mentioned the Scorpio. With the King of uh, Cups. If I'm not wrong. Okay, and the Moon again. <laughs> Some things are coming to the surface here with the Moon. Definitely. Again, you might be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, you guys might have some fire here. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. You don't have to Leo as well, I said. Anyway, uh, let's get any other message for my pile number one. What do they need to know? Okay. The distance is killing me. I hate being so far away. Wow, again confirmation uh, this person needs you to be patient uh, especially with the communication here I feel that that page that is losing control over their feelings uh, I miss talking to you in case you guys are not communicating and are taking a break with the four of swords there empath and narcissist being charmed or used i feel like this is the moon energy like you guys are feeling that this person been using you they try to charm you um they're being narcissistic maybe they're having some ego some narcissistic cystic traits but i don't think that they're using you i don't see that here um stay optimistic about your love life uh, romance is on the way i feel like that's the uh, judgment card card sorry expect the unexpected they definitely feel like will come back to you um their heart is torn to pieces maybe they're hiding it with the moon card there you're like an angel and i feel like they will okay 
and let's see any extra messages for my pile number one from their twin flame what else my pile number one is to know regarding the twin flame relation connection here okay this guy i told you shy they don't want to tell anything <laughs> oh strength it takes immense strength to dive into the feelings they buried okay for some of you this person maybe they deny their feelings here with the moon they try to keep them hidden <sighs> As I said, with the four swords, you might be at the distance of this uh, from this person where you're in no communication. So they might be logging, longing, longing. What? Yeah, logging. Uh, for for you, every moment uh, apart feels like an eternity. What I said about ego with narcissist, I felt the ego there. Uh, I don't feel like you're being used. Uh, price stands in the way of true connection. It's not you, it's my ego that's bruised. And I think they're working on it with the four of swords there. Celestian match, you are my cosmic counterpart. Definitely devotion. Every bit of my heart belongs to you. That's so sweet. <laughs> this is actually a twin frame message. Secrecy. The secrecy around this situation has weighed uh, heavily on my heart. Yeah, with the moon, secrecy, hidden things. I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know what happened there for you guys. Uh, lifetimes of love. Uh, in every life, I did find you. It's so sweet. And eternal bond. Destined souls forever connected. So this is what I have for you, my pile number one. I hope this uh, brings you some clarity regarding um, where you're standing on the journey with your um, twin flame. So yeah, uh, if you like the video resonated with you, the video, the reading, or I've resonated with you, please don't forget to leave a like um, and subscribe in order to help this community grow. And thank you so much again for staying until the end. Take care, guys, and see ya. Bye. Hello there, wonderful souls. Uh, I want to start by saying a huge thank you to everyone. To those who've been uh, with me for a while, your continued support is the heartbeat of this channel. And for those just joining us in this journey, welcome to our cosmic family here. Each and every one of us adds a unique and beautiful energy, so I'm very grateful. Um, if you've been uh, drawn to the pile number, uh, to the pile, to the image, sorry, um, number two, this is going to be your reading for the pile number two, or group number two. Um, so today we are journeying into the enigmatic world of the twin flame dynamics. Uh, for many, it's a path of profound transformation, deep connection, and sometimes a bit of a cosmic uh, chaos here. My hope is that to provide you with some clarity, comfort, and maybe even a touch of revelations, uh, revelation as we delve, delve into the cards. Uh, just uh, as a reminder, the cards are a mirror reflecting back the energies around us. Just trust your intuition, listen to your heart and uh, let's uncover the messages the universe has in store for us. Uh, if your space here feels like home to you, do consider subscribing, please. Together we are building something truly special. Now with open hearts, let's dive into today's uh, Twin Flame reading. I will start with um, five card spread. Oh, one card is on the table.
so let's get a card for your uh, foundation the foundation that will represent uh, the current energy or situation that's surrounding your three flame relationship here so for my pile number two and the twin flame journey connection here we have the knight of cups now i'll draw or let's get the challenge card this will uh, point out any obstacles or challenges that you and your twin flame might be facing right now the queen of cups okay I will draw a card now for the um, path forward. This will suggest the action or mindset that will help you overcome the challenges in this connection. Three of uh, ones. And for card what's being released for my pile number two. And in their connection with their uh, twin flame. Um, the Hierophant. And the outcome no, shows the potential future or energy that will surround your relationship with your twin flame. The six of spades. Okay, and we have at the bottom of the deck the energy that's surrounding this uh, connection, the page of wands. So, okay, in your current, uh, I hope you guys can see the cards. In the current energy here we have the Knight of Wands. As you can see, this person is a bit on their emotion side with all the waters here, trying to reach the cup uh, that the fairies are holding. I feel like he's being driven by the emotions here in their mind, like this is what uh, it has uh, on his mind, the cup. This tells me that in your current situation here, um, someone here is being dreamy, maybe someone here is being uh, driven by intuition um, and emotions and desires here. Uh, someone wants to pursue this relationship. <clears throat> I'm getting this energy of romantic. Uh, someone who leads with their heart. And it's always in a pursuit of their uh, dreams and emotions here. Um, maybe uh, someone here is a kind of a person that uh, likes to write poetry in the middle of the night uh, that's being inspired by the moonlight cityscape or um, a fleeting memory uh, this person is a hopeless romantic easily swept away uh, by the, their emotions they're having so someone is uh, very feeling this connection very deeply here with this uh, night of uh, cups i see a lot of uh, romance i see a lot of love here a lot of uh, fantasy world happening here um this person is unca uncanny and has the ability to sense the feelings uh, of those around them so you might be also on your intuitive side my pile number two here um you're like an empathic here um and um it's a good listening uh, listener sorry this person or uh, you've been always offering comfort to this person here or maybe they've been offering you this you might be dealing with a musician here someone that writes uh, it's an artist or a musician um, maybe someone here likes to do sketching uh, of the city's uh, architecture uh, for some of you or my, you might be dealing with someone that is doing that uh, or maybe this person is composing a new song on um, their guitar for you mm, 
you're someone here is being very idealistic this person here they is driven by ideals and um, can sometimes be seen as um, wearing rose tinted glasses here this person sees the beauty and potential in everything here i see you guys see the potential and beauty in this uh, relationship um maybe sometimes this um, you might you or this person might be a bit uh, disillusional if reality doesn't match your dreams i feel like someone here has a um, mood changed or might change with the environment um, a rainy day for example for some of you might uh, make you feel uh, reflective while a sunny one uh, might uh, lift up your spirit here with this uh, knight of cups and this one this person or you or your twin flame or both of you here in the current situation you want to you want to uh, pursue your desires um, you guys set your heart on something on this relationship a uh, bit dream or project a person doesn't matter you guys i see you that you're pursuing your um, uh, desires your dreams um, your un unwavering sorry passion here now uh, you might be dealing with the cancer scorpio or pisces um, but yeah someone is really in, uh, in their emotions in the current situation here and uh, they're very intuitive here with this uh, knight of uh, cups in the current situation here and someone that is i feel like uh, in the current per uh, uh, current situation someone is very, very ever persistent uh in the quest of what the hearts desire i feel i don't know if it's you or your person taking take it as it resonates now in the challenge we have the queen of cups here uh, this is telling me this that um, while you guys are very in tuned with your um, emotions and uh, the emotion of others um, this makes uh, someone here to be uh, in very empathic here but this uh, I feel like it's overwhelming uh, you guys um, this person feels everything deeply and uh, from the joy of a bird song of, to the sorrow in a stranger's eyes this person is changing moods very <laughs> depending on the environment as i was seeing in the um, knight of cups here um i see here um someone that's very uh, having this uh, intuition that is being uh, being unparalleled um this person here knows what's happening or it's uh, what's about to happen without being told um, sometimes this can be a gift and sometimes i feel like it can be a burden for you guys um, as the queen of cups have this boundless capacity of love uh, she also learn how to protect her heart so this uh, as a challenge i see it like someone having their barriers or defenses uh, up uh, maybe to the past uh, heartaches or uh, overwhelming emotions here with this queen of cups um it, this person is very sensitive to external energies for sure uh, however uh, your challenge guys here is lying in the deciphering and filtering sorry in the, these energies um, so they don't overwhelm you here you need to seek for emotional balance here um, this is your challenge with the queen of cups to seek emotional balance uh, try to find uh, the balance between being open-hearted and protecting yourself you guys need to ensure that um, you don't lose yourself in the process of caring for others. I feel like the challenge here is to 
know how to navigate this emotional depth that you guys are feeling maybe for some of you or for your twin flame um, you feel this uh, strong strong attraction towards each other you feel this pull um, you feel the, the connection you feel the passion from the connection you feel the love you're feeling this strong 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 uh, feelings and attraction something that keep pulling you towards your uh, counterpart here your twin flame and for some of you i feel like this is make you feel very unbalanced uh, it's like to be it's too good to be true kind of uh, vibe i'm getting here Uh, so yeah, uh, your challenge here is to understand how to navigate the complexities of the emotional world uh, around you here. Um, you need to have this emotional understanding about your feelings, or they need to. Um, you need to learn how to be and let yourself to be vulnerable, um, or they might need to do this. Uh, you need to find a harmonious balance between um, two deeply intuitive and emotional beings here. I feel like you both of you are mirroring each other for sure if you're dealing with a twin flame. Um, I feel like sometimes the emotions that you guys are feeling here, they are too overwhelming for you guys. Uh, someone here is not letting the guard down. I feel they're, they're trying to guard their feelings with this uh, queen of cups in the challenge position, in the obstacle position and um, they're afraid that uh, if they will leave the guard down um, they will lose their self if they're being opened uh, with their emotions and letting um, their emotions to uh, take place in this connection to express their emotions now we have the path for the three of wands here Some of you, you might be at, like to go to observatory and watch the sky. Uh, I don't know, I'm getting a message for someone out there. Um, you, some of you might have a telescope as well. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting this. Um, this um, for the path forward uh, the challenges that you guys are having with the emotional depths here um, this is encourage you, uh, you to look forward to see the bigger picture here um, the potential that um, futures uh, do they envision you guys are envisioning for yourself um, you need to be hopeful for this connection um, it's a time for growth and uh, broadening horizons here with the three of wands for you guys. Uh, you guys maybe perhaps can decide to take a journey together with your uh, twin flame if you're in a connection with them. Um, maybe you need to have this travel experience and share the venture or project that are significant uh, in order to help you combine your growth here in this relationship. You need to do more things together with your person to get more closer with them do activities together you guys need to collaborate here i feel um you need to lean on each other uh, and draw the strength from your combined energies and work in tandem to navigate these challenges uh, that you guys are having uh, some mm, communication some um, it's needed as well here um, I also I see here some preparation um, maybe you guys need to equip yourself uh, emotionally and practically for the journey ahead and uh, stop letting yourself being overwhelmed by uh, um, this sensitive aura you're feeling the, let, you're letting yourself being controlled by emotions here uh, maybe some fear is taking place uh, in you. 
you guys need to be pro proactive here uh, rather than waiting for things to happen or for the challenges to come your way uh, you guys are encouraged to take the initiative to set the peace uh, on your journey and uh, on your own uh, er, on your own terms i wanted to say sorry um you need to harness your emotional energies for growth here um explore them um if you guys are on the brink on a new chapter, uh, the horizon is just filled with endless possibilities here. Uh, the path forward beacons uh, you to f venture forward hand in hand into the vast expanse of the unknown. And um, just have the hope and uh, anticipation in your heart for this connection. Uh, someone here is not being too help, hopeful. They're like, oh no, I'm gonna get hurt. They'll hurt me. What is this? What is this that I'm feeling? <laughs> uh, yeah, the higher hair of on here usually uh, speaks about uh, comfort, tradition, spiritual wisdom, and established beliefs. Uh, in the context of what's being released, I feel like you guys are letting go of traditional values and uh, establish norms or uh, old ways of thinking here. Um, if you guys been hurt in the past and um, you or this person been going through some um, relationship that been abusive um, or uh, they always got played and got um, manipulated or if this is you i feel like you're letting go of these uh, old ways of thinking like not everyone is here to get you some connections are really meant to help you grow um to do t wonderful things together um yeah you just have to release beliefs about relationships some of you um maybe so personal growth or spiritual values that you once uh, held dear you have to let go of those in this relationship um, maybe you have to rediscover personal belief system maybe for some of you instead of adhering to established traditions you guys um, are encouraged here to explore and establish your own set of beliefs here tailored to, to your unique journey um, Maybe you need to let go of some of you of uh, external expectations. Um, here with the Herophone presence tells me that uh, there might be some external pressures, for, uh, pressure that you guys are feeling here for some of you, uh, perhaps from family, society, cultural beliefs. Maybe if you guys are being in, um, um, what's it called? Um, from different uh, backgrounds like they have they believe in something and uh, you have um, different religion backgrounds I wanted to say uh, this might be what you're uh, releasing as well you're letting go of these preconceptions you guys had uh, I feel like that, yeah, you're releasing these external ex expectations in order to craft your own path here with uh, your twin flame. Um, also, for some of you, you might be needing to embrace the personal spirituality here. Uh, while the Herophant here embodies organized religion and group beliefs, uh, releasing this energy might mean that um, you are on a path to discover your personal spiritual truth rather than uh, what was uh, being handed uh, down to you. Um, maybe you guys need to challenge some established norms. Um, could be a time where uh, you guys are questioning or challenging and eventually letting go of some of the, uh, some of the traditions or no norms that you guys been growing up with, uh, grew up with, sorry. Uh, this doesn't mean that uh, total rejection, but it's a conscious choice of what uh, aligns with your true selves here. 
I feel like you guys are shedding the weight of tradition and social expectations here. Um, you're being called here to release the old structures with the um, Hierophant. Um, if you haven't done that. You just need to make room for your authentic self. Um, it's a freeing process, this. It's all uh, going to allow you guys to explore deeper emotional and spiritual realms without the constraints of the established paths. And as for outcome here, we have the Six of Swords. Um, I feel like you guys are transitioning uh, here. You'll transition. You're moving from the turbulent waters to a calmer one. Uh, into a journey towards clarity and resolution here. Um, maybe after, all, I see that after this, uh, all of the emotional, sorry. Uh, depths and challenges and releases of the old beliefs here. Uh, you are now moving towards a phase of uh, greater peace and understanding with each other. Your relationship, I feel like it's evolving to a more tranquil and balanced state. Um, you're also, um, the swords here represent the experiences, lessons and wisdom that you guys been gathering here. Uh, while you're moving forward, you're carrying these insights with you. You're using them as tools for future uh, future challenges. So I see a relationship that's growing, that's uh, evolving here. This is really nice. Um, also, you guys might getting some sort of mental clarity for some of you here. Uh, the challenges and the introspections uh, that... Um, have led you to the greater um, the challenges here that you will be facing or you faced and the introspection you've been doing uh, will lead you here to a mental great mental uh, clarity um, you guys I feel like you're better equipped uh, now to understand and communicate your feelings and needs when you're um, when you are here in the obstacle position where you had your uh, or they had their um, guard up uh, I feel like you're the, um, being able to communicate all of these feelings to know how to let your guard down in front of this person to trust them more maybe there is a lack of trust here as well um, this card also tells me uh, speaks about a joint journey together with your um, twin flame um, can be metaphorical or uh, literal here here you can just go travel somewhere with your person for some of you some of you are just having this uh, um, uh, uh, growth together you're going on a journey of uh, soul uh, you guys might be undertake a trip together or um, you can signify a shared journey of personal growth and mutual understanding. Um, for others of you, uh, this speaks about us acceptance. Um, tell, carries this tone of acceptance. While not all the issues might be fully resolved, I feel like there is an understanding and acknowledgement uh, for you guys. That will lead them will lead you to this uh, mutual uh, decision to move forward here with this relationship. In case you're um, in a separation from your twin flame, I feel like you're, uh, you're going to receive some communication here, and uh, this person is returning uh, after they done the work on them, after they been um, um, growing as a person and learning uh, what needs to be changed uh, what are the challenges for in, for you to come together so this outcome for you guys prom gives a prom uh, promising horizon here for you um, And I feel like you guys are setting uh, sail towards a clearer and more harmonious future with uh, this twin flame. Um, your journey isn't just memories and lessons, but the waters ahead promise serenity and mutual growth for my pile number two. 
uh, as for the later ones here um, I see you guys um, this person is very curious about you or you're very curious about them you guys want to explore your feelings more with this person um, you might have some of you a new idea a spark it's the experience of someone who eagers to experience life uh, as a, again this speaks about the journey maybe some of you are actually going to travel somewhere with your uh, twin flame um, it's almost infectious enthusiasm for new ventures and challenges I feel like um, you guys, uh, if you've been in a separation, this person will come back to you, will message you, and there is this newness of an exploration here. They want to explore more of you, and you want to explore more of them. Um, it's not just about uh, confronting challenges here or moving toward with this uh, page of uh, ones here. It speaks about a peaceful future as well. Look at her, she's like so serene, singing, all the animals here are being, um, are sleeping or just being super, uh, paying so much attention to the music she's playing. She just um, got the, their attention and put them into this trance um, so I feel a peaceful future and this relationship is coming um, it, I feel like you guys will have this zest and curiosity which uh, you guys will approach this step uh, for this relationship from now on um, here speaks about taking risk um, this person is not afraid to step into the unknown so you guys, I think, will step into uh, the unknown with this person or they will be ready to come and step into the unknown with you. If they are afraid of uh, what will happen, they will hurt me. Uh, I've been through this again in the past. This connection is too strong for me. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I think... Uh, no, I don't even know if I want to clarify anything here, to be honest. I feel like we got all the messages here for my pile number two. So, yeah, let me give you some extra messages from here. Let's see what messages we get here. We have talented. Oh, definitely. Maybe some of you playing a violin, being a musician for some of you, definitely here. Are you dealing with a musician, guys? Let me know, please. <laughs> I just noticed the violin. Or what instrument is that? Looks like a violin to me. Um, this person might be athletic. Uh, this person is courageous. Again, green eyes. What's going on with the green eyes? Uh, everyone has someone with green eyes, or you guys have green eyes. Um, Compassionate, this person is full of compassion here, or maybe they see you being like that, and they are intelligent, or you are very extremely intelligent. Um, would you guys have, have they feel this strong connection with you? Um, some of them they might be in pain, or you're in pain at the moment. They might be hurting over uh, you if you're in separation. This person is romantic. No, oh, sorry. They want to hug you. It's so sweet. They're missing you. They want to show you affection. Or maybe the one is putting the walls up and they will start showing some affection here. <laughs> They're transitioning. And what else we have here? A year from now on, you might know this uh, might happen for you too. Maybe you're going on a vacation in a year from now on. This growth is taking place in a year from now on. Doesn't have to. 
uh, reference operation um, or not you will get a text uh, or a call message from this person uh, for some of you this person might have brown hair doesn't have to and wow maybe in a year from now on they want you to be their wife or husband uh, that's amazing okay you have to come back guys to let me know if they actually propose to you in a year or not <laughs> and leave a comment here i'm really curious um unexpected emotions there is so much i want to say to you so i feel like this is the queen the challenge this is the queen of uh, cups here took them by surprise their feelings towards you the, the strong connection the strong emotions i just put them out of balance here definitely mind yes i do think about you okay if some of you have been asking or if you're curious if they think about you they do think about you uh how about how i feel about you scares me again this challenge trust it is trust to safe in these situations yeah as i was saying earlier in the reading someone is uh, not trusting enough doesn't trust enough the other person has these trust issues because of the past hurt maybe so let's get some extra messages for you guys from your twin flame what else they want you to know right now okay 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 yes this is meant for you i'm afraid of hurting you so i keep my distance okay some of you might as i said you might not be in communication with this person but they are thinking of calling and texting you uh, be light hearted finding out things coming to light adapt change heal so for some of you this person might come and tour you and let you know how you feel uh, how they feel sorry what does we have here strateg i'm planning to return uh, trans uh, transcending obstacles learning expansion new face preparing for union uh, as i was saying i, I feel like mm, there is some union here soulmates soul connection um, partnership agreement soul contracts so you guys are having a soul contract with this person especially if you're twin flame for sure oh what's this i had a, i had very vivid dreams of you so this person for some of you they might be dreaming of you or maybe you're dreaming of them or you both are dreaming of each other here let me know which one is it okay any other messages for my pile number two that they need to know from the cream flame determination i'm determined to understand what my heart truly feels that's nice maybe they're really letting uh, their guard down drawn to you oh, through this uh, through maybe they are drawn to you <laughs> to this card uh, void without you there is an emptiness in my heart without you by my side okay they really feel um you uh, if you detach from this person they really feel it for some of you they they really miss you they feel that empty space now something is missing your energy is missing from their life okay what else we got here shameful act i i'm hurt to admit but i gaslighted you so for some of you maybe you got gaslighted by this person uh, mirror our hearts beat uh, in mirror dreams yeah you guys are definitely in a twin flame connection some of you here you know if it's for you or not because you're mirroring each other here healing i still got some healing to do definitely maybe that's why we saw the one year from now hidden feelings i've been hiding uh, i've been hiding my true feelings from you so yeah this person kept their guard up oh, that's the challenge there 
refuse to let you know how they truly feel about this connection so this was my reading my pile number two um i hope it gave you some clarity um, it, if it resonated with you don't forget to leave a comment or a like or subscribe to our community um, and will help me a lot to grow this channel and will help me a lot to do more videos for you guys so yeah thank you so much for watching this and um, I wish you guys to have an amazing day night depending on the time zone you're at and uh, stay safe my friends bye hello there uh, beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel if you've been drawn to the image number three this is going to be a reading for the pie number three uh, before I start, I just want to tell you that whether it's your first time here or you've been with me on this journey for a while, I'm genuinely grateful for your presence. Today we dive deep uh, into the mystical world world of the Twin Flames. Uh, we're exploring the divine connection, the mirrors of the souls. And uh, I want you guys to remember that um, these readings uh, come from a place of love, guidance, and uh, hope to bring clarity in times of uncertainty to all my loyal subscribers thank you for your unwavering support and to those that are new here i'm so thrilled to have you to join on our family here so let's embark on this um, journey together hand in hand and heart to heart let's see mm, i'm gonna do um five uh, card spread for you and see what the energy between you and your person here and what the obstacles you are facing right now and uh, where is this uh, connection headed and how you guys can help yourself uh, on this journey as well okay so uh, You guys are having a wonderful day as well or night depending on the times when you're watching this reading also i was meditating on the cards uh, for you guys and um, i saw this ship that was sailing uh, maybe this connection it's headed towards growth or um, uh, for some of you maybe you're a sailor or you're dealing with someone that's working on a ship or is a sailor i don't know that's some message out there for someone that uh, needs to hear a confirmation so let's get a card for the foundation of this uh, energy we have the ace of cups um, the challenge, this card will point out any obstacles or challenges for you guys that you may face in the two of cups. Um, the, um, what's called, path forward for you and uh, your connection. Eight of cups. What is being released here? For my pile number three what is being released here for my pile number three the judgment and the, the outcome let's get the card for the outcome here i have two cards here okay the ten of swords and the queen of uh, coins at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of uh, Swords, the overall energy for this reading. So we have in your current situations, guys, uh, uh, the Ace of Cups. This tells me that um, at the heart of your relationship with your twin flame is a bonding emotional... Sorry, I had to pause a bit. I was getting too much noise on the background. So um, I was saying that at the heart of your relationship with your twin flame here is budding um, this emotional connection with this uh, ace of cups here um, you might be dealing here with a cancer um, this guy uh, so you guys you guys wanting to initiate in a new cycle 
of deep affection and intuitive bonding here. Uh, perhaps you guys both recently acknowledged your feelings or experienced um, a situation that uh, deepened your bond, such as a shared venture or a personal revelation. The challenge here is the Two of Cups. Um, I see this um, Two of Cups, um, it speaks about harmony. You guys are, um, I don't see here a challenge, much of a challenge here. Um, this Two of Cups, it's met in harmony, but the energy may be surrounding uh, your connection here is uh, swirling uh, chaotically between you two. Um, this card stands for a mutual attraction, partnership, and union. Um, both you and your twin flame maybe are overwhelmed uh, by this connection uh, with the Two of Cups here. I almost like magnetic poles or oppositing poles attract each other here. Uh, I, however, I see the strength of this bond um, that might could or could pose a challenge for you guys. Uh, maybe there is an external factor like friends or family not understanding the depth of this connection for you guys. Um, there is also the Pisces energy here where the dreamy ideal of love might clash with the reality leading to misconceptions for some of you. Uh, we have the pet forward, Eight of Cups. Um, I feel like there is this uh, inner search of letting off something here. Uh, one or both of you guys might need some time for introspection, akin to the deep reflective energy of this uh, Scorpio card that uh, it represents the Eight of Cups. Um, it's about personal growth inside outside the relationship for some of you. Maybe one of you, uh, who knows, took a job in a different city or enrolled in a course uh, aiming to grow individually here and um, they have to leave something behind um, or they're leaving you behind. Uh, for some of you, um, the challenge here with the Two of Cups uh, might be another partnership, another relationship, uh, a partnership, uh, a job maybe, it can be something about a job even though I don't see any pentacles right now on the table. But yeah, um, I see that something is being left behind, uh, something is being let go of. Uh, for some of you, um, with the Queen of Spades here, with the Queen of Swords, that it's all um, the energy overall here, uh, the surrounding this energy between you and your twin flame. I see that even that there is a lot of love between you and this person. Uh, maybe they turned their back on you or you turn, uh, turned your back on them. And um, I see you guys, uh, for some of you, you might have even blocked this person here. Uh, what is being released? I hear here we have the judgment card. Um, this is a moment of reckoning and resurrection from the past. Uh, so I feel like you guys are both letting off the past judgments here, or uh, misgivings. Um, I don't try to imagine a situation where uh, misunderstandings arose in your relationship because of a previous relationship or past uh, past trauma here. Um, the judgment is the Pluto driven transformation here so um, the planet of rebirth is at play uh, urging you both to rise uh, renewed here uh, with this judgment card um, I feel like there is a collective awakening, shaking of past shadows here with this judgment card as well. Um, so yeah, I feel like you both are letting go of the judgments and misgivings here. Um, for some of you, um, someone needs to take um, a judgmental decision as well and leave something behind. Uh, we have the outcome, the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Coins here. <laughs> this is um, about, um, for some of you, betrayal, transitions, um, 
go figure of abundan abundance um, might symbolize an ending uh, followed by nurturing stability here uh, I see a situation that might arise in uh, your connection here or maybe already arised for you some of you perhaps you guys had some disagreements or um, there are some external challenges that uh, feels like a massive setback for you guys um, this could uh, also resonate with the Gemini's duality in the Ten of Swords, where communication breaks down between you and your person. Uh, however, recovery is imminent with this Queen of Coins here, um, challenging the grounded, nurturing energy of the Taurus or Capricorn energy from um, the Queen of uh, Coins. Uh, maybe some financial stability or moving in together might be on the horizon here, after some ending, a period of ending. Now we have this, as I said, this uh, energy. Oh, look at you guys. This is such a powerful couple. You guys are really a powerful couple here. We have the king and the queen of coins. This speaks about a really powerful couple. You guys are meant to do something great together here. Um, maybe you guys are meant to have um, a lot of abundance in your... Um, life uh, you guys need to i don't know you're meant to be partners uh, in um, working together on something i don't know you guys maybe for some of you we might even work with this person it might be someone from the job or bus or uh, a colleague that you will have this uh, connection with uh, here but you guys are uh, usually when both of these uh, the queen from um, the suite deck this, both the king and the queen from the same suite are um, showing in the reading um, this tells me that uh, you guys are not in communication right now even though there is this strong pull towards each other there is the love there is genuine love here something fated uh, wow um, so the over uh, recharging energy is akin uh, to Libra or Aquarius here you might be dealing with one of those signs so it's, this is advocating for balanced communication and in intellectual bonding um, maybe past experiences um, miscommunications about shared responsibilities or future plans push you both to be more clear-cut in expressing the needs and put up some boundaries here um, so in essence your twin flame journey here i see that uh, encompasses new emotional beginnings challenges in balancing the dream with reality uh, periods of individual growth here and uh, eventual stability while there are moments of intense emotions and potential misunderstandings i see that the stars are aligning uh, in favor of clarity growth and nurturing love in this relationship um they want to clarify and uh, get more insight on this two of cups here with the challenge for some of you i said uh, that um, this might be someone that um you have this very strong strong connection with because we have the king of uh, coins and the queen of coins and uh, someone got scared because of the intensity they're feeling in this connection here with you um clarify the two of uh, cups for my pile number three please clarify the two of cups here. so we have the queen of wands the page of wands page of cups uh, i see a lot of attraction here definitely um maybe for some of you i see two pages might be a decision. there are multiple suitors either in your life their life uh, here maybe this person um it's uh, too shy to come forward and express how they feel um, they want to apologize here. Uh, I see messages coming in. Okay. 
Why is the eight of uh, cups here? Why is the eight of cups here? Why is being left behind here? The king of swords. Okay, one more card. Why is the eight of cups here and the king of swords? Clarify the eight of cups. The temperance. And I want to clarify the judgment card here as well. Why is the judgment card here for my pile number three? We have the hangman. Judgment with the hangman. Why is the judgment? Oh, too many cards. And the hangman. Four of wands. Eight of wands. And the three of swords here. Hmm, interesting. Okay. And so, as I was saying. <sighs> What you're leaving here behind? Um, this Eight of Cups is telling me that you're on a path of living. You or your person is on the path of living certain emotional situations or um, aspects of your life that no longer serving you uh, for your higher purpose. Um, the here, the King of Swords and Presence uh, tells me that um, this decision isn't made lightly, but with clarity here. Uh, rational man and discernment. Um, there is an understanding that emotions uh, need to be set aside to view the situation objectively here. Um, additionally, with this uh, temperance card here, though, uh, tells me that um, while this journey is uh, necessary and uh, it requires balance, as you guys move forward, um, try to integrate your past experiences with your future ambition, uh, ambitions uh, harmoniously. Um, this transition will need patience and uh, the blending of both emotional date of cups with the logical king of swords here inside. Um, for instance, imagine that you guys are uh, contemplating ending a long-standing but unfulfilling war project or uh, even, sorry, a phase of um, your relationship here. The King of Swords pushes you to look at the facts, perhaps the benefits versus the emotional toll it's uh, taking here for some of you. Meanwhile, the Temperance advises integrating the lessons from the, this endeavor ensuring uh, it informs your future decision harmon harmoniously here. So in Ascension, um, these combined energies of these three cards here uh, tell me that uh, a journey of change uh, steered by clear thinking and balanced by pension, patience and integration is uh, ahead here. It's what being released. Um, you might be dealing with the Sagittarius, uh, King of Swords and Air sign as well. Like, I feel like some air needs to be cut here. He's cutting through the clouds here. He's clearing the air. He's seeing the things clearly in his mind. And he's balancing um, here um, his emotions. Um, he's being patient. He's taking his time to take this decision. Um, he, this is a very logical person trying to look from all the points of view here in order to take the best decision. With this uh, temp, uh, with the judgment card here, sorry, oh, we have so, oh my god, so many cards here. So we have the judgment that calls, um, that tells me it's about awakening, uh, the clarifying uh, cards here uh, give depth to what um, this re realization entails. Um, the hangman here suggests that this period of uh, introspection or realization came after a pause of a uh, necessary period of surrender. Perhaps after a situation where you guys felt stagnant or trapped, 
uh, there might have been an event or phase in life where you guys needed to take a step back here from this relationship um, maybe so, um, let go of some control or um, observe things differently here uh, with the four of wands here though um, indicating to me that at least uh, this uh, introspection there is a foundation of uh, or stability here either already present or coming your way it could hint that this rela realization is leading you to a more stable face in your life or even uh, celebrating a uh, milestone here uh, for some of you maybe with the judgment card here someone is hearing the call seeing the things from different perspective maybe they real realize with the hangman that um, sacrifices need to be made in order for this beautiful connection to um, work and come to you know, together here uh, for some of you the four of ones i'm not gonna lie might mean uh, marriage also 11 11 here it means twin flames um, maybe this person was not ready to offer you guys commitment and now they're prepared and ready to offer you this commitment um with the eight of coins they are ready to work on this relationship for others of you maybe this person been focusing on their work a lot as i said eight of coins tells me that some of you you might be dealing with someone from your work as well uh, for once, um, you have uh, here the Scorpio card as well uh, from the Hangman. Uh, for once, and uh, uh, Fire sign, Eight of Coins might be an Earth sign. Um, this uh, becomes apparent that hard work, dedication, and commitment uh, play a role here. Uh, here. Um, Maybe this person is recognizing the value of dedication and they're about to undertake a significant task that requires a consistent effort here. With this uh, Three of Swords, though, they might come back after a period of a heartbreak, after they healed. Maybe this person is still healing and working towards um, healing here uh, in order to re get stability again in their life and they're starting to see the things from a, po a different point of view um, they're hearing this judgment card uh, here after some introspection after they left something behind maybe as i said for some of you maybe they turn your back uh, they turned their back on you because they needed to work on themselves they needed to heal this broken heart here um this tells me for some of you that not all the realizations are uh, joyful. There could be painful, <coughs> sorry, trusts or uh, heartaches uh, associated with this awakening here. Uh, for some of you, perhaps the re realization revolves around a painful experience, a betrayal or uh, understanding a hard truth about oneself or others. Um, for example, you might realize that uh, while you've been working hard with the eight of coins here and build a stable foundation with the four of ones uh, in this relationship, that certain relationship or situations uh, with the three of swords here were holding you back for some of you and, and was causing you a lot of pain here. Um, with the hangman energy, it tells me that... Um, uh, taking a step back and observing was necessary for this revelation to happen. I don't know if it's you or your person, but this is how it is. Uh, so yeah, um, your awakening, the judgment is uh, multifaced here, I feel. It's born from introspection, um, recognizes hard work, stability, but also uh, comes with the acknowledgement of uh, pain or betrayal for some of you guys. It's a transformative realization and guides you toward uh, learning from past and move forward with a clear perspective here. So this is what I have for you, my pile number three. Now let's um, pull out some cards for you. Also, uh, for some of you, I just realized uh, with this Ace of Cups, I feel like, let me clarify, I feel that might be 
a new beginning. Uh, maybe you you haven't been with your twin flame and you get to be with them. Maybe now it's when you're meeting your twin flame, when your twin flame is entering your life after you've been through a very painful heartbreak through a relationship that was not fulfilling for you and once you release this and heal a twin your twin flame will come into your life this is what i'm getting but let me clarify the eight of cups there just to be sure yeah you don't have to make a decision lovers <laughs> decision in love uh, or someone here uh, as i said might have been a third party situation but I feel that you guys will have to make a decision in love. I think the twin flame will about it's about to enter in your love life when you least expect it. Um, when you're minding your own business, you're healing, you're doing your own stuff, and that's when they pop up uh, in your life. Others of you, uh, this is about a third party situation. I, um, in current situation, you had to do a decision that uh, it's about this um, love. Uh, maybe for some of you, someone here refuses to see with the two of swords. They're blocking their heart and refuses to see the strong bond between you and this person. They refuse to see that they wished for you and um, the God or the divine or whoever you believe in, um, they provided for them. And once they received you, they're like, um, what is this? I'm not prepared. I'm not ready for this. And uh, this little, you guys turning your back on each other and a period of healing after some introspection being done. Because I see a choice between two people the lovers and the two pages but i see messages you'll have options here between two people definitely one of them is your twin flame after you're going through some betrayal after an ending it's happening here uh yeah that's okay that's all i had for you okay uh, now let's get some extra messages uh, from your um twin what they have to tell to my pile number three. Um, healthy. This person is a healthy person. Uh, again, artistic. Wow, all three piles got artistic. Someone here, uh, either you or some the twin flame or who you're dealing with. It's very it's artistic. All the three <laughs> Uh, piles got it it's crazy this person is energetic or are you feeling their energy right now they're energetically connecting to you um, they want to show you affection and this person it's tall or you might be tall okay one more card here let's see courageous this person is courageous get some messages from here as well intelligent this is the 10 uh, the um, king of swords maybe uh, someone here is dealing with an air sign but yeah i can see that this person is very intelligent or maybe you are intelligent again green eyes i think i got it for all three piles as well i don't know why everyone is dealing with someone with green eyes or has a green eyes, sorry, or maybe you guys are having green eyes. I don't know. Expect a text or call. Okay, now we have blue eyes as well. Some of you might have blue eyes or you might be dealing with someone that has blue eyes. Um, this person kind of regrets the, the fact that maybe they didn't took the right choice or they didn't block their heart. And now they regret thing, letting you go for some of you. Okay, we also have hazel eyes. Uh, let's move to these messages now. What my pile number three need to know regarding their twin flame? I'm struggling right now. Yeah, 
there is not this someone here is, realizes sees the connection for what it is but they're closing their heart right now i feel like they're in another third party situation with the lovers here and that's why they're struggling Or maybe for some of you I see at the bottom of the deck here, second chance, this relationship deserves a second chance. Uh, they want to return with the judgment card here, for sure some of them they will return. Um, but maybe they are afraid that you won't take them back in. Any other message? They are sorry for all the pain they caused with the three of swords. And again, healing. I'm healing right now. So this person is still going through healing period. Okay. I both, considering the fact it's a twin flame relationship, uh, I think you and your twin flame are uh, both uh, suffering here. Let's see. Extra messages. What is my pile number three needs to know regarding the twin flame? What messages? their twin flame has for them what's their energy towards you my pile number three i have was this dream big and don't stop for some of you i see they're still cheating on you <laughs> oh okay 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 we got too many so we have i was in love with you okay so i can see that the ace of cups definitely uh, believe me, this is not over yet. So, they, they want to return with the judgment. A life without your love is not worth living. They are feeling this pain. They are still healing it. They are struggling because of it. Uh, I know I need to apologize. So, for some of them, I see the apologies coming from the page of cups in here, the energy. So they will apologize for sure. They're realizing that they done something wrong here. They treat you bad. Uh, they didn't uh, took this connection for what it was. And now they are regretting it. Expect unexpected. Stay optimistic about your love life. Romance is on the way. Definitely I saw that. Uh, Please be patient. Some of you, they won't want you to guys to wait for them to heal. You don't have to, uh, to be honest. They just want them, uh, not. they want you to not rush them, to just give them the time to heal whatever it's needed to be healed in their life. Uh, find your balance first. So I guess you or this person needs to find their balance. And I need courage to face my feelings. Yeah, with the two of swords here. They're blocking their feelings that uh, they have for you. Okay, let's see. Any other messages for my pile number three for from their twin flame? What they need to know. What is my pen number three needs to know regarding that pen flame? Any messages? New down, a fresh start with you awaits. I feel like this is the Ten of Swords. It speaks about new downs. Down, sorry. Any other message for my pile number? Sorry, for my pile number um, three from the twin flame. I'm looking down to this. So we have here deception. I regret the deception and the, the deception and the pain it's causing. Uh, I don't see, but maybe with the three of swords, maybe it was some sort of deception, or maybe for some of you, I'll put it here with the lovers. They lied about the fact that um, um, they haven't been uh, honest about their uh, third party situation. I'm going through a lot, I don't, I didn't even notice, I just noticed these messages, so this person has a lot of things to deal with in their life, so they need to heal, they need to deal maybe with another relationship, with 
uh, some sort of uh, situation in their life maybe it's work for some of them uh, stress pain i don't know you're my secret passion maybe for some of you this is uh, as i said you met this person at work um, it's a colleague a boss something and um they are keeping it a uh, secret, or especially if they are in another relationship. Uh, galactic synergy together, we are unstop unstoppable cosmic force. So you guys uh, together. <gasps> no, I almost dropped the camera again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh God, I need to be careful with this camera. I don't know where to put it, to be honest. It's on, on my way all the time. Uh, but yeah, with this uh, unstoppable force, uh, it's the queen of uh, wands and the king of wands here. I, I feel this unstoppable force between these two power couple. Okay, any extra message for my pile number three from the twin flame? Ego. Price stands in the way of the true connection. It's not you, it's me. It's my ego that's bruised. For some of them, maybe uh, their ego got hurt here. And that's what needs to be healed right now. Depending on the situation you guys been through. Reunion. Dreaming of the day our souls, uh, souls reunite in harmony here. So definitely, I see a reunion here. Multiple cards been saying that. And again, they want apology. Expect an apology from this person soon. I'm truly sorry and I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. So, yeah, that's what I had for you. My pile number three. Uh, I think I forgot to get the letters out, out for the group number two. I hope they, they can forgive me. So I'm going to get some letters for you and see who you might be dealing with. Okay, I think we got enough. So we have an N. No, it's a H, sorry. An M for some of you. Their initials. First or surname. Um, F for some of you. O. Z. W. Uh... G and C. It doesn't have to start with those names, but confirmation for some of you. So, this was my reading this time. <laughs> uh, I wanted to make short, but uh, apparently I cannot make them short, these readings. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for all the support. One more time, thank you for being here. Uh, if this resonated with you or gave you some clarity and helped you with your uh, pain to ease your pain a bit uh, in receiving these messages um, and knowing where you're headed uh, with the energies in this twin flame connection uh, let me know leave a comment down below um, or just uh, leave a like it will mean a lot um, for me and if you want to help me grow this community and um, continue doing this please support me by subscribing to my channel so yeah also um, if you guys have any suggestions related to i don't know any questions you are seeking answers to i can do a reading based on that uh, i will check the comments and uh, choose one or two uh, every week and try to do a um, subscribers reading based on what you guys want so i'm open to suggestions so thank you so much guys until next time stay safe my friends bye